The parametric texture feature is one of Enroute's most versatile surface creation tools. And one of the most impressive things about it is you can create your own specific type of texture and save that and it'll be pretty much unique to your specific settings. So uh, how you go about using this texture tool is first you have to have a relief on screen. And I have a plate on screen here of 30 inches by 16 inches by 0.75. So I'm going to create a rectangle that's that same size. So we're going to do 30 by 16 and I'm going to place it at the lower left hand corner. I have specified at zero, zero and hit apply. So I've now created a, a rectangle in the right in the middle of my plate. Now I'm going to come here and create and go to the create relief button. That's also here in the surface menu and I'm just going to hit flat add apply. So what I've done is I've created a 3D surface within this rectangular uh, geometry. Now to get to the uh, parametric textures tool, I'm going to come to the surface menu and go down to the textures part here. And we'll go down. There's a number of textures. So uh, we'll start off here by going to the dots texture. So we have here a, uh, a list of existing textures. And uh, one of them here is called river rock and that's actually the one we're looking at here and we'd specify the height that uh, we want to add this at and if we like the way everything looks here I can hit the apply button and this texture will be applied and this is actually a mathematically generated texture there are a number of variables over here that will allow you to uh, make some changes and if we look here uh, I'll hit the F12 key to go to the perspective view and then it uh, shift and, and control so I can I can move it around. You can see the overall look that's created. So this is a nice looking texture created from a mathematical formula. The nice thing about that is you're not worried about how many pixels there are, there are if it's a higher high enough resolution. If you're using a bitmap, which is often used to create textures, these are actually mathematically generated textures. So if uh, I want to create a different kind of look here, I'm going to come here and just apply again a flat no thickness relief. Let's go back to this dots texture and I'm going to hit reset and then I'm going to come here and, and maybe increase my values. Now I could just hit my up arrow key and watch the values increase or I can, um, can, can type in specific values. Now here I've just kind of increased the size of these a little bit. Let's decrease the spacing to uh, 0.5 inches and we have here a dot radius. Let's turn that to one inch and so we've created a different kind of effect here. And there are a few other variables, but I'll just leave this like it is. And I'm going to hit apply. And that's going to transfer this little diagram here, which shows to scale pretty much the size of, of what's going to happen. Not to scale, but to proportion. And if I come here and look, I can see that that texture has been applied. So uh, if you like the look of a particular texture, then you can come here and, and go back to the texture tool. And you can save this as, I'm going to come here and hit save, and we'll call this as uh, two inch round. Right now, if I want to go back to this particular texture ever, I've saved these, these settings. So if I come up here and go to a, a different saved one here, we have a honeycomb saved. Uh, I could now go back down and, and recall easily the settings I just used. So that's what's really nice about the parametric tool is it's, it's mathematically generated and not bound to any kind of, of size limitations and you can preview things as you're making adjustments and then save them and reuse them quite easily. Now let's uh, use one more quick example here. So I'm going to close this out and let's just uh, come here and replace this again with a flat no thickness relief. I'll go back here to the textures and this time I'm going to go to the flow texture. So uh, if I'm not really sure what I, what texture I'm looking for, I can actually come here and just hit the reset button. Um, and then again, I can, I can just hit one of these arrows and you'll see that the, the uh, little diagram here in the lower left hand corner changes based upon the settings. And we have wavelength settings, the shorter the wavelength, the more, the more distortion will be introduced. And in any of these particular variables, if you, if you just hold down on the, the arrow you can you can see as it changes over a particular distance and gives a unique texture uh, what that texture is going to look like once you find something the way you like it then you can come here and hit save 
and we will call this flow wave and hit OK. Now we'll have these settings and we can easily restore them in here. I'm just going to hit apply and see what this looks like. But uh, by changing your position and other variables, it's very easy to create a, a nice impressive uh, texture library that will be unique to you and, and won't be anything anyone else will be able to, to duplicate exactly.